Well, I went out and spent some money today. I bought me a motor and always wanted to do this. Um, do this bench top alternator system. I'll put a box around it, quiet it up later. But for now, um, I'll be able to watch the voltage from the alternator, the voltage from the battery, and I'll be able to watch uh, the voltage at the cell. There's usually a current drop between them, and I'll be working on that. Um, every time I did testing with the regulated power supply and did a bottle per minute test, the uh, cell did a lot less than what the truck did when I put it on the uh, vehicle. The vehicle always, uh, with the alternator, just made more hydrogen because it likes that choppy, dirty signal. Um, Stanley Myers talked about that. So, uh, I'm going to try this and tweak this cell. And Me and Daryl's been working on a lot of stuff. We control the water flow, uh, changing our spacings between our plates, um, blocking the current jump, um, even trying uh, some different chemicals and changing the frequency and see what we can get out of this. Um, I don't know if m and many people know this, but to supplement the car, you only need a quarter liter for every liter size of your engine. So uh, this cell, if it can do uh, about two liters, two liters and a quarter, um, that's enough for mostly any V8. And you can uh, adjust it with this... Uh, pulse width modulator then you know you only need for a two liter car you only need a half a liter it might take 10 amps so I'm not going to run this over 20 amps I should be able to get this to do two liters or more under 20 amps so just stay tuned and uh, we'll see if me and Daryl can do it so I'll talk to you guys later and bye